Hi, I'm Mel, and we're going to do a nighttime flow. We'll start off in a child's pose for five breaths. Bring your knees out as wide as you'd like them. And then go ahead and stretch your arms out long on the mat and drop your forehead down towards the mat. Your, heel, your tailbone should be pressing back towards your heels. And then if you spread your knees out, go ahead and bring them back together and sit back onto your heels, coming into hero pose. And then when you're ready, sweep your arms up and overhead here, and then drop your right arm down to the mat. You can tend up onto your fingertips and then reach your left arm first up and then over to get a nice side body stretch in your whole left side, keeping your hips grounded, not letting them tilt over, pressing your chest forward and up. Maybe your gaze goes up. One more breath here. And then inhale, sweep both arms back up. Moving over to the left side, dropping those left fingertips, tenting them up. Reach your right arm up first and then over to get a good stretch in your right side body. Pressing your chest forward. Maybe your gaze goes up. One more inhale. And then exhale back to center. Reach both arms up up and overhead look up and then start to bend back taking a baby back bend here don't dip too far back and don't let your neck go keeping your throat nice and long pressing your shoulder blades in towards each other to open up the chest one more inhale exhale release both hands to your side Coming around to a tabletop position, bring your wrists under your shoulders, knees under hips, find a long neutral spine, gaze goes down to the front of your mat. And then on your next inhale, extend your left leg and your right arm towards the front and back of the room, ground down towards your left palm and the top of your right foot reach through your heel, reach through your fingertips, inhale. And then exhale, lower down onto the mat. Find your center, find your balance again. And when you're ready, switch sides, extending your right leg back, reaching your left arm forward, kick through the heel, reach for the front of the room, get nice and long in your spine, inhale. And then exhale, release. Taking that one more time on each side. Find your center, find your balance. And when you're ready, inhale, left leg lifts, right arm lifts. Press through your heel, reach through your front fingertips. Inhale. And then exhale, lower back down to tabletop neutral. Switching sides, extend that right leg, left arm, Reach and kick and breathe in deeply. And then lower down, release. Walk your hands forward a bit towards the front of your mat. Tuck your toes, press your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. One breath here, inhale. Exhale. And then step your left foot forward between your hands keeping your back heel lifted, plant your right palm on the mat and spiral your left arm up towards the ceiling for a low lunge twist here. Pressing your hips down towards the mat, keeping your back heel lifted over your toes. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, lower your palm, ground your back heel down, and then sweep your arms 
up and open into a warrior two. Let yourself settle into your warrior, check on your feet, check your arms, that they're in line with your shoulders, and then flip your front palm, bring your right hand down to your right thigh, and then left hand goes up and then back as you reach and reverse your warrior. Keep the bend in your front knee, one inhale. Exhale, hands frame your front foot, step back into a downward facing dog. And then step your right foot forward. If it doesn't make it, give it a little boost. Plant your left palm down, coming into a low lunge twist on the right side. Reach your right hand up towards the ceiling and ground down through your left palm. And it should be stacked directly below your shoulder here to keep your arms safe. Inhale and exhale. And then plant your right palm down on the mat. Ground your left heel down, coming into a warrior two. Sweep your arms up and open. Adjust your feet as needed. Reach your fingertips forward and back. Find your center. And breathe here. And then flip your front palm, back palm rests on your thigh. And then reach your right hand up and then back. Coming into a nice long side body stretch. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. Exhale, hands frame the front foot. Step back, downward facing dog. One breath here. And then bring your knees down to the mat and find a seat. Stretch your legs out long first. And then bring your left, the bottom of your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Reach your arms up and overhead. Get nice and long first. And then lean up and forward. So try not to dump into your lower back here. I like to keep my foot flexed for an extra stretch. You can keep your knee bent. Wherever you are, use the force of your arms to pull your forehead towards your knee. Maybe it touches, maybe it doesn't. And breathe here into the stretch. One more deep breath in. Exhale, stay. And then start to rise back up, switching sides. Bring the bottom of your right foot to your left inner thigh. Flex that left foot first. Get nice and long in your side body. Sit up tall. And then exhale, fold forward over your left leg. Using the leverage of your elbows to pull your forehead toward your knee. And you should feel a deep stretch in your side body, making sure not to dump into your back or over arch. Keep your spine nice and long. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then coming to sit back up, bring both feet forward, reach up. And then forward fold over both legs. Option again to keep those knees bent. Now your next inhale, come up halfway, get long in your spine. And on your next exhale, fold forward one more time. One more deep breath in. Exhale, stay for the fold. And then come back up to sit and lower yourself all the way down to your mat. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart, or whichever. And reconnect with your breathing here.
and then pull your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a tight good night squeeze. And then fully release into Savasana. 